Evil All the victims were slashed to death. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. That does sound crazy. Once again, search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Fear is fascinating. Thanks for letting me know, game. Thanks for tooting your own horn about how fascinating you are. Clock Tower for the PlayStation 1. Although I'm not actually playing it on a PlayStation 1. I intended to. But it turns out my PlayStation 1 is broken. which I just now found out when trying to play this game. So I'm playing it on a PlayStation 2. It might probably not really make a difference. But just in the interest of full disclosure, it's not exactly original hardware. Professor Bart. Professor Bart. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. <laughs> I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian. <laughs> or also my assistant. Boy, this is some quality voice acting. Yes, Professor. Clock Tower. This is a sequel to a Super Famicom game, which was never released in the United States. And as such, I have never played it. There's a faint smell of ammonia in the cabinet. But... In the original game, there was a little crazy man with giant scissors. He was a serial killer. And the game sure is being dramatic about the fact that this guy has a replica of his murder weapon. I'm guessing this guy's going to turn out to be a creep. This is one of those games that's pretty short, but there's lots of different endings you can get. I'm guessing in one of the endings at least. Barton here. Oh, I found hint number one. Cool. I guess I probably can't look and see what hint number one is, but whatever. Yeah, I'm guessing Barton here is going to turn out to be some sort of accomplice to the killer in one of the endings. I played this game a couple of times a long time ago, but I don't really remember the plot. Jennifer Simpson, she was the main character in the previous game. Looked like Jennifer Connelly in the graphics of the... Uh, Original, anyway. Honestly, don't remember what she looks like in this game. I guess we'll find out in a minute. I can't turn the lights off, unfortunately. Oh, nope. Nothing up there.
Ah, he's a criminal psychology researcher. How appropriate. Someone with an interest in serial killers is about to get involved in the serial killer killing. Well, I'm sure lots of people are going to die in this game. Good idea to get an expert opinion on it. Okay, well, I mean, I can't pick it up and take it to anybody, so don't really know how that's going to work. Yes, he's investigating the original murder still, because they only happened a year ago, according to the storyline of the game. In fact, I think the games only came out a year apart. It's a Super Nintendo game, and then one year later this game came out. These very, very crude 3D graphics. Hey, let's talk to this blockheaded person. Helen left a few minutes ago. She's angry. That printer sound effect is just never going to get annoying at all, I'm sure. Helen's desk. Helen is one of the main characters from what I remember. Not the survivor of the previous case, though. Oh, hello. And Scissorman wears a cheap rubber mask. Just like that guy in the Halloween movies wore a cheap rubber mask. But... The Halloween guy did not stab people with giant novelty scissors. What was his name? I forgot the name of the Halloween guy. But you know who I mean. Michael Myers. Michael Myers starred in the Halloween movie. That was back before he was in, like, uh, Wayne's World and So I Married an Axe Murderer. <laughs> Still something I need to do in this room. Um, well, I clicked on everything. Oh... I'm guessing this is one of those games where you have to talk to people multiple times. That's gonna suck. Pretty sure she is another a bit more than a research subject considering she's the protagonist of the game can I talk to myself nope I can't talk to myself game like there's no indication that people have extra new things to say you just have to keep clicking on them huh oh god that wasn't even a joke that wasn't Well, I didn't want to keep the reporter waiting, but you said there's more stuff I had to do in this room. And what I had to do in the room, I had to make pointless chit-chat. Was it really necessary to make that pointless chit-chat? Oh, I hear a bird tweeting. 
So this is this is an oddity here. We got a point and click adventure game, but I'm playing it with a controller instead of a mouse. Hey, dude, you're a short guy. Oh, hmm. Oh, so a reporter wants to talk to the guy researching the serial killer. That's whoop de doo. So this this guy in the red vest is Harris. I'm gonna forget that. I'm terrible with names. It's so odd controlling a cursor with a PlayStation gamepad. Double click and you can run. Sometimes, anyway. Oh, I guess I can't go any. I guess I can't go any further that way. All right. Let's see if the save function works. Let's see if the memory card works. This is a new memory card. Well, not new, but you know what I mean. New to me. I don't know why the words are flashing like that down at the bottom. That's going to give somebody a seizure. And it seems that we've saved. Yeah, I'm going to try to get all the different endings. There's like eight different endings for this game. But it's a short game, so I'm going to try to get all of them on this Let's Play. The first Let's Play is going to be a slow affair as I learn what I'm even doing. Oh, no reason to go through. Okay. Well, yes, I would hate to waste time. Well. We'll go down to the first floor then and talk to this reporter, apparently. This might be the only game I've ever played that takes place in Norway. Oh, the auto-talking has stopped. Weird, it looks like both these guys share a conversation spot. It's kind of weird when you get close to an active spot, it kind of like pulls the cursor into it. Yeah, I know who the murderer is. It's friggin' Scissor Man. I'm just noticing this game doesn't have music. It's just weird background noise. So, the survivor from the previous case just left, and she didn't want to interview with the reporter. Neither would I, honestly. I wish I didn't have to talk to him. So, there seems to be some doubt about her story. They're not sure if she really was chased by Scissor Man. And now he's complaining about the reporter sensationalizing the murder case. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he's just a regular old crazy guy with a giant pair of scissors. He's not supernatural or anything. I wonder if there's any way to speed up the dialogue. These conversations are taking forever and there's no voice acting. I'm not going to do the voices. Nope. No siree, not me. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower murders. He is supposed to be a young boy about 10 years old. This takes place in Finland, but I don't know how to do a Finnish accent. I will just get on this elevator and go back up to my office. No, let's, let's see if I can go to third. Nope, still can't go to the third. I guess I'll go back to my office. Because I hate to waste time. La, la. Speaking of wasting time, just sitting here watching the elevator go up. What is this mass effect? I'm just going to sit here and watch the elevator go. Mm, yes. Oh, I hear a little birdie on my window server. See, this is why I don't do voice acting. I'm so terrible at it. I don't know how to do the voice of an old, an old psychologist. Mm. Oh, something's happening here. Or maybe not. It just did a weird camera angle, but it doesn't seem to mean anything. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Er, has he arrived already? Yes. He's waiting in the therapy room. Well, I'll just go ahead and ignore him for a bit, see if there's anything else to do in the room. With my little green... My little green neckerchief, or whatever you call that kind of tar. Well, they call that a cravat? Is that what that's called? Okay. What? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Is there something I can do for you? Well, yes, the game said that I needed to stay in this room for some reason, but I'm not sure why. I can't get out of this one camera angle. Nothing is in my inventory. Wait, what was that? Did something just light up over here? The computer? No, I can't. It won't give me another camera angle. What am I supposed to do? Ah. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. Yeah, I tried to do that, but he wouldn't pick it up. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Ask Harris. Ask Harris to show it to Rick. Okay, I'm asking Harris to show it to Rick. Apparently this is some sort of... plot divergence that's gonna determine the ending. Ask Harris to show it to Rick. I gotta remember that. Gotta remember, it's being shown to Rick. Harris, would you take this statue and show it to a man named... <laughs> just just any, just any old man named Rick will do. <laughs> just, just, just find any guy named Rick and show it to him. Just, just the name is what's important. The first name only. Yes, yeah, so I'll... Oops, wrong voice. Very good, thank you. Yes, I'll show it to him. On my whole, on way home this evening. I'm gonna go to the therapy room now. <laughs> I hope I go looking for the right Rick when I need to learn more about the statue. There's so many Ricks in this city. 
I'm sure Norway is absolutely filled with wrecks. Filled right to the brim. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Really wish I could speed up the dialogue scrolling. Now, since it's our first day, would you answer some simple questions for me? Oh my god, scroll faster dialogue. I want you to tell me everything, honestly, that you remember about what happened. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to keep that voice up. I need to find a different voice for the boy. Well then, let's get started. Oh, where, oh. Well. Why, yes, I will save my game. to actually see the conversation now all of a sudden we're Jennifer and Jennifer's gonna go out for a while well well now another load screen that was quick all right we'll pick somewhere to go in the next video